Hello guys, this is Cody. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 useful zero shortcuts. First, I'm gonna show you is called email merge. Let's just open this shortcut. Here is a text that you wanna send to your friends. Let's just type a few words that you wanna send and then just run this shortcut. It asks you if you wanna select email receptance from contacts or from clipboard. So let's just select from contacts. So this one and this one. This sets only setting to as an example. So you will ask you if you confirm to confirm this message. So I'm just tap send and tap send again to two messages send. If you do not want to get prompt, you simply toggle off this option. As you see here, send the email, toggle off this option and type Type in your email address, then it automatically send all these emails. My second shortcut would be Media Grabber. This one is so powerful. It allows you to download media from hundreds of website. Well, you can download video or audio. So you can download songs from from many music website, and you can download the video from YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Dailymotion, etc. You can simply copy this link and just run this shortcut. Or you can run this shortcut from the share sheet. And in the end, this shortcut allows you, if you download the video, this will allow you to extract audio from the video. Or you can save the audio, save the video to the camera roll. Or saved cloud drive. It's so powerful. It actually have some comments to show you each action is doing what. A third shortcut I'm gonna sh share with you would be Deezer Downloader. This one is for download music. This creator created both the Media Grabber and this Deezer Downloader. Both are great. He's gonna release a downloader app to the App Store. You can simply run this shortcut and type a type a song song name or the artist name. Let's just say let's just say fingers. So it will bring you out to the search results. So the first one is what I need. You just tap it. Okay, it's downloaded. It's downloaded through Cloud Drive. Of course, if you, these are the music streaming service, you can also copy the song link and run this shortcut. Music is saved to the iCloud short, shortcuts music folder. You can find them there. If you want to save to another folder, you can simply change this one or you can toggle, toggle on this option. So it will ask you where to save the downloaded music. The fourth shortcut would be the control video playback speed. So it allows you to speed up a video or slow down video playback. So let's just run the shortcut. It asks you to select the video playback speed. So let's change it to two times faster. Want to make it slow? Just input the number is less than one. Just select from camera raw videos. I only got one video. Just this one. Select this one. Okay. Let's just save it to camera raw. Let's check it how it was how it go. It's going. We can preview it from here. Well, that's it. The fifth shortcut would be Mimi Generator. So you can see this is a creator. So let's just run it. Select image from memory. Just select this one. It seems take too long. So you input a text on the top. And if you need be, you can also Type of text at the bottom. Let's just preview this. It's good, isn't it? Text on the top and at the bottom. The six, the next shortcut would be combine image. This one. So it allows you to combine a few images or screenshots. You combine them, as you see, you can combine them horizontal or vertical. 
So let's just select assembly select to, to screenshot. No space. Let's see a few course you can also combine them vertically. Okay, that's no need. The seventh shortcut would be Apple Music to Song Link. This one. It allows it generates a song link of your current playing song. So you can share it with friends. Let's just run this shortcut. So that's the song link you can share with others who are using Spotify, Tida, or or whatever music streaming service. It's very convenient. The next shortcut would be Web Saver. Do you want to share a web page, Safari so web page, as an image to others? So you probably want to take a long screenshot of the web page. So th this works just like that. But it's not exactly the same, but actually you do not have to open this page because what it does, basically it will, will make this, this page as a PDF and then convert the PDF to, to an image. So you just input us a link. So let's just uh, copy this link and run this shortcut. Well, if it, the page is very large, it will take some time to make a PDF. Let's save this image. It, it, it will run the update key to upgrade to update this shortcut if needed. So I didn't get the up, up, update key, so it will look like this. Let's check it. Well, it, it's because it allows you to, it will ask you to log in, so the pages look like this. You get the idea, right? Well, the ninth shortcut would be add a watermark to your image. First, you need to prepare your watermark image. So I, I didn't have a particular watermark. So I just select a random photo as a watermark. This this actually needs two shortcuts. So this so first you need to generate the embed code. So get you need to run this embed, get embedded code shortcut. You need to prepare an image as a sh your watermark. I didn't have a particular watermark prepared, so I just set like a random image as a watermark. So it may not be pretty, so let's just see how it works. Let's just select this one. Okay, that's the embedded code. Let's just step down and then run the watermark. Shortcut on this shortcut. So I'm just tap. Well, before we run this shortcut, this is actually the pre made embedded code. You need to paste your copied embedded code here and delete the other one. So here you see three examples. So this is the original shortcut. So I don't want get messed up because I have to share it with you so so I just add an, another action so get clipboard just add it here so this will actually get what I just made as a watermark so let's just run this shortcut just select this one then Whatever you choose, it doesn't matter. So let's just select a random one because we don't use that. Let's just add the image to the bottom left to what, and you get the preview of this short this image. Here it's the watermark. Let's just step down and save the camera roll. Here it is. Let's go back to shortcuts and the last shortcut. I can share with you today is called send to Kindle. So when you read a web page, read text from a red page, but you, when sometimes it's too long, you want to read on your Kindle because it's a ink screen. Ink screen is way better. So first, you need to change that this to your to your Kindle email address which accept content and then run this and then go for safari 
and run this shortcut from share sheet this will only it can only be run from share sheet because it only six accepts safari web page so we say kindle this one this one send the web page as a pdf file to your kindle okay that's all for this video hope you like it i'll see you in the next one